Lake Junaluska is absolutely gorgeous at this time of the year, and today we're sitting here and we're talking with Gene Crane and Gayla Erlene, a husband and wife Christian country duo. We've had the privilege of meeting this uh, couple several times in our travels, and let me tell you, they're a talented couple. And Gayla, I want to start with you. How long have you been singing? Well, I don't want to tell you how old I am, but uh, what, almost 30 years. 30 years, mm -hmm. and how did you start? Did you always play in the Christian country music? No, no ma'am, I didn't. Uh, well, I grew up, my dad was a big Hank Williams fan, and all my life, all I heard was him playing Hank Williams songs for me. And when I was about 11, uh, I started writing country songs. And then uh, shortly after that, I, I was saved. And so I started writing poems and songs that was both country and gospel. And I played country music oh, most of my life. In fact, we met playing country music. And we played that. In fact, we uh, traveled with some of your bigger names in country music for many years. And then in 1990, the Lord called both of us during a street dance that we were playing in our hometown of Inola, Oklahoma. And before that dance was over, all of a sudden, I just began to feel uh, something's not right here. The music doesn't sound good. We're just not supposed to be here. And when that was over, I shared it with him. And Gene said, you know, I had the same the same pulling and feeling, and the Lord called us that night to drop this and to go into uh, His ministry, His gospel, spreading His word exclusively, and we did that immediately. You know, when the Lord calls you to do something of this magnitude, as you said, you grew up playing country music or had a love of country music, the Lord spoke to you one night, you know, that takes a step of faith. But if you really believe in the Lord, you know he's a, guy, a God who works great miracles. And so he has in your life, in your ministry, because you've had some big songs in the charts here and beautiful voice. You have a wonderful voice. We'd love to hear you sing. Thank you. I want to talk with Jean just a moment. Jean, she said that you met while you played and you had played for some of the bigger names. I know you are a class act on the steel guitar. I tell you, we've heard you and enjoy you every time we hear you. And who did you play with? Uh, we played with the old, uh, a number of people. Uh, Roy Clark we played with his group for uh, uh, a couple of years there and uh, was probably the biggest one. Freddie. And uh, Freddie, Freddie Fender traveled with Freddie some and just uh, different people like that. But uh, You know, a lot of people think, goodness, if I could have traveled with the likes of Roy Clark or Freddie Fender, you know, that would just be wonderful. But does the road get tired? It's not a glamorous life at all. It's it's very tiring, uh, demanding, no sleep a lot of times, and, and it's, it's just not cracked up what it sounds like it should be. After you all made the decision, after the Lord called you into the Christian country music field, how did you choose this particular field when, you know, Southern Gospel has been at the top of the, uh, I guess, the Christian music industry, and then contemporary has come on the scene, and Christian country is relatively new to the industry. What made you choose this? Well, I, I think, you know, we, we grew up with country roots, and, and Christian country is country music with uh, our, our Lord's uh, message involved in it. And uh, we're still doing what we like to do, what we like to, to play, and, and plus we're doing what the Lord wants us to do. Do you find, both you and Gayla, do you find that the Christian country music field is growing? Oh, I think it is, by leaps and bounds. And uh, we've heard some negative things and some positive things, but I know the more and more that we play, the more people we happen to run into that really likes it and they're just, you know, rooting us on and saying, yeah, I've heard of this and I've heard of that and where y'all going to be and where's the next convention? And it seems like our conventions, be, you know, they seem to be growing each time too. We know everything has its negative. I don't care what field of music you're in, there's drawbacks to everything. There's there's negative and then there's positive. But if the Lord's in it, it can't be all bad. Oh, hey, <laughs> you bet. Just put the hammer down and go. That's exactly right. Well, I know the last time that we saw each other, I believe if I can recollect in my memory, you were going to become grandparents. Oh, we were and we have. <laughs> August the 5th, our daughter, uh, son-in-law, gave us a beautiful granddaughter. Her name is Olivia May and she was just a bundle of beauty and blessings and we just, oh my, we hadn't lived till we become grandparents. Well that is wonderful. Well I know you travel a lot. Where have you been traveling recently? Oh gosh, let's see, a couple of weeks ago we were in Jonesboro, Arkansas uh, convention. We, uh, of course down here, we're headed to uh, Canton, Texas uh, next weekend one night, Wiley, Texas the following weekend. I believe November the 7th, we're back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and then 
and the 8th also in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And then uh, the middle of November, we're off uh, to Nashville for a week and cut a, a new album. And then the 1st of December, we're back in Texarkana, Arkansas, or what is that, Texas? Texarkana, Texas. And do some recording. Gene's going to cut a new uh, gospel uh, instrumental album. album. We're excited about that because this will be his first, you know, solo album. And we're going to take off till after the first of the year after that and try to get through holidays. Christmas. Well, that is wonderful. Well, I tell you what, I love to hear you sing and I love to hear Gene play, but I want to ask him one question on this new project since it's your first project. Uh, how did you select the songs? Are they original? Are there some that uh, are some of the old favorites? Well, I'm still selecting. Be oh. <laughs> truthful, babe. I am. Uh, most of them are going to be uh, just standard uh, old favorites, and uh, some of them are going to have a little twist to them, uh, not quite exactly like they originally came out, but uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, I tell you, I can't wait till we receive this project and Gayla Arlene's projects because I know we have been playing them on our um, our music showcase each day right there on TV7, TV34. And we're looking forward to his project coming out. We wish you both the best because you're doing such a ministry for the Lord. And I appreciate you taking time out of this weekend to talk with us. Well, thank you. Thank it's you our honor. Much. We love you and we love Bill and William, Morgan and Morgan. They're well, great. Well, thank you so much.